how can belief in God be rational if we don't have compelling theistic arguments? Well, first, what exactly counts as a compelling argument? I would say a compelling argument for a conclusion is one that starts with premises that uh, a rational person could accept even if they don't accept the conclusion, and then compels that person through force of logical reasoning to accept that conclusion. Personally, when I think about uh, that way of thinking about compelling arguments, I don't think there are compelling arguments for theism. But I also don't think that there are compelling arguments for atheism. And in fact, I would say that uh, compelling arguments for almost any philosophical conclusion are going to be pretty rare. So, um, I mean, we do have you know, less than compelling arguments for theism. There are less than compelling arguments against theism, but not compelling ones, I would say. And so that, then, then again, we're thinking, why is it or how is it that um, belief in God can be rational in the absence of, of uh, these compelling, supposedly compelling theistic arguments, and especially with the high degree of conviction that religious people often have in their, in their theistic beliefs? I would say we get the hint of an answer if we consider uh, a mathematical belief, such as three is a prime number, or a moral belief, such as torturing people merely for amusement is morally wrong. Um, there are careful, uh, careful thinking, intelligent people who don't hold those uh, mathematical and moral beliefs. They don't accept realism with respect to the realm of mathematics or morality. And it's you know, in large part because they, they don't see how we humans can be detecting the facts, the, the, the mathematical or moral facts that are sort of in this mysterious non-physical realm. Um, and, you know, there aren't compelling arguments to convince them that, that these mathematical or moral claims are true. Nevertheless, it seems rational to believe these things, you know, that uh, things such as three is a prime number or that it's morally wrong to torture people for amusement. And the way these beliefs seem to be formed is on the basis of how things seem. So it seems strongly to me that uh, three is a prime number, and on that basis I believe it. It seems to me that torturing people merely for amusement is morally wrong, and I believe it's wrong. And in each of those cases, it seems to be rational to, to uh, hold those beliefs in that way. Uh, and I think we can say something similar about belief in God. Um, so, you know, suppose in certain, in certain, in certain uh, circumstances, such as considering the evidence that's used in theistic arguments, it seems strongly to many of us that God exists. And this despite the fact that we don't have compelling arguments uh, that would convince people who are doubters about this claim. Um, I would say that just as moral, you know, the moral and uh, mathematical beliefs that we were thinking about, just as they can be rational, even though they're based only on seemings and we don't have compelling arguments that would convince doubters, I would say so also uh, belief in God, theistic belief can be rational, even though it's uh, based merely on how things seem and we don't have compelling arguments to convince people who are doubters. And I would say, if, you know, of course there are many um, problems that are going to, questions that are going to arise with respect to this idea. Many, uh, you know, potential disanalogies, problems that come to mind. But that's at least how I would start to answer the question of how belief in God could be rational in the absence of compelling theistic arguments. Mm -hmm.